welcome back to my channel it's Birgitta and I am here with a new video a new series in fact and in this series we are gonna do backgrounds so the first video in this series I want to do a washi tape background because it has been requested so I finally got my worlds of wonder coloring book and I want to do a background in this book only using washi tape so all you need is a coloring book some washi tape and a small crafting knife if you're not comfortable using a sharp knife in your coloring book i have another tip for you but i will show that later the washi tape I'm using is it's paper. Washi tape is paper and it's transparent. Uh, other tapes can also be used like decorative tape, which are, for example, shiny. And not transparent, but then it would be harder to to find the lines underneath. I think we're just gonna start. All right, I want to do this page and I want to do the inside of the circle. So the sky in here and I'm gonna use these colors. black, gray, and blue and maybe also some white so before you start make sure to have a stack of papers grab a few I have um, pretty thick stack here and put it underneath your page because these knives are really sharp so you have to be careful with your fingers and your page but just in case you cut through this page it won't hurt the rest of the pages underneath so make sure to have paper underneath. Let's just start with this blue. It is paper tape and it's pretty transparent. And I want to make a gradient from light to dark. So I'm just going to Put it as straight as possible here. Just tape over the whole thing. You don't want to waste anything. Now this this is paper, so you can just tear it off. Let's just move it a bit. I want to cover the whole circle. There we go. So we're just going to tape the whole thing before we do anything. You don't want to waste anything. You can, of course, only do a little tape here and a little tape here. Now, line it up right next to the other tape here.
I want to do one more blue. Now I'm going to go in with a gray. This one has some texture on it. I can see it's probably damaged. So I'm just going to take that off. I am measuring the size and then tear it off. I'm going to do one more gray. Now we're going to do a black one. This one might be harder to see the lines underneath. I can barely see it, but I can still see a little bit of the lines. Now I'm going to go back over with the blue again. Because I want to have the sky more blue-ish. And since these are transparent, they will see the color underneath through it. You can tell this one is much darker than this one. Now it's getting lighter. Getting harder and harder to see the lines. If you're having trouble seeing the lines, you could al also uh, draw in with a pen on top of this, so it will show through better on the second tape.
There we go. I can see there's some more bits down here. This will be really abstract the background. What you also can do is if you have a white tablet or maybe an iPad or something you can bring up a white picture or something so you can light it up and put put the iPad underneath so it will light up or a light table So now comes the hard part, and that is cutting out on the lines here. And this knife is really sharp, so you have to be really careful so you don't stick through the paper. So you have to be really lightly handed. So you just follow the lines, basically. Now it's really hard for me to see the lines up here. So I'm going to try to put my phone underneath. So the phone light wasn't bright enough, but I took this tape off so I can see this better and then I can put on the tape over it afterwards. So these trees are really hard to get around because they have a lot of lines. And it is hard to see. I would definitely recommend drawing on top, underneath these ones. I can tell there's are there are bushes here. Which is
go over the bushes. And just make them just like that too. You probably can't see much of this on camera. I do believe that you understand how do it. I have two copies of this book. One English and one Norwegian. And I chose the English one because it has much thicker paper than the Norwegian copy. I think I want to leave these ones actually. Now I think I want to start to feel move it off and see how we do we might not on through the second tape here As you can see, this work is really hideous. The more details you have on a page, the more advanced the pets are going to be. The more work. Now, to what I said in the start, if you don't want to use a knife, you can always use a pencil to draw the lines that you see underneath. And then you can take off the tape and cut it with scissors. Small scissors. Cut the lines. You have drawn. That is safer. That's a safer way to do it, but it's a more time consuming method.
try to hold it down with my nail here so but it won't go go away be really careful when you drag this as well you don't want to rip it up because if the tape is really sticking to the paper it might tear the paper too Really hard to tell sometimes. Just move it back in its place. It's really small. I'm just gonna try to do this carefully. Yeah. I can see there that I missed the spot. I don't know if you can see on camera, but what I'm just going to do is take one of these scraps and put it on top and cut out the piece I'm missing. Holding it in place with my knife. And there we go. Now you can see this is already loosening up and that is really typical washi tape it doesn't really stick well but at the end you can always just put some varnish on top when you're done with the whole picture or maybe some clear glue or mod podge to to make it uh, stay down Let's see if I can. This one? It doesn't look like it went through here. Here's the tweezers. That's probably easier. Grab those small pieces. There we go. That is one tree. And now I'm just gonna peel off everything of the rest here yeah I pulled this one off I'm just gonna do this and then put it back on now we can tell there is a bush underneath that I didn't see before
Yeah, so this washi tape doesn't really stick well. I'm just gonna get that bush in there. Now that I put on the tape here, you can see, you can clearly see the line and that is easier than to do a double line. So don't do as me, but do as I say. Do one layer first and then put a layer on top. I'm just gonna go in with a just a normal glue stick and we can put some more stickiness to this so it will hold better. When I'm done with this page and colored everything, I want to go in and cover it with um, varnish. So, there is a moon over here. As you can tell, I have mist here. I'm just going to brace it as it is. And and I'm just going to color the tree normally over that. Now I'm going to go in with white. And the moon, I'm just going to draw quickly the moon.
There we go. I'm go over with white tape and hopefully I can tell maybe a bit darker. This is washi tape is made out of paper. It's really easy to go over it with pencils. Now I can barely see that. Probably better with a black pen. Put it super lightly. Go over it again. There we go. And now let's. Go in with the knife. Use the glue again. There we go. Oh, it looks a bit weird with that. Line in the middle. And there was also some stars, but I'm not gonna cut those out. I'm just going to go in with a Posca pen. You could also do this with the moon if you don't want to get out the moon. Not sure where all the stars are, so I'm just gonna put them random places. You can always also take a picture of the page before you start so you know where everything is. I'm just gonna do some. Thoughts. I'm 
And if you don't like it, you can always just take it off. This washi tape can just be aired off. Now I want to show you these ones. Since they are paper made, we can just go straight over with colored pencils. And there we go. So that is how I do a washi tape background. I'm going to show you maybe a bit closer. We got this gradient. This is the first time I try to layer them. Learned something on the way. You should probably do one layer at a time. And I also want to show you some other examples on how to do washi tape in your coloring books. Like here, for example. You don't have to do it in the backgrounds, you can do it in details or in the main picture. So here I did one type of washi and a different type of washi here and then I put hearts on top so this washi is really gold here is a, another one that I did a really long time ago I did this in 2018 and here the background is washi tape, all the pink here, and this took a really long time. So here I used a method where I actually taped everything first and then drew in and then used small scissors to cut out the lines and then put the washi tape back on. last one I want to show you is this one where everything on the page is in washi tape. They are different designs. Here you can see I have colored on top of the washi tape to make shadows. And here I used the varnish to, to make it stick. To the page. And I also use Pasca on top of this one too. Make clouds. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned something and enjoyed the first episode of the background series. I have a whole list of backgrounds that I want to do. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification 
to get notified when next time I upload a video. Give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!